Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel or have stumbled across this video, welcome. My name is Katie aka Put Your Makeup On and I really hope you get the chance to subscribe to my channel before you leave today and throughout the course of this video I really hope you get the chance to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it so I know and today we are going to be talking about blending brushes. I feel like I own so many more blending eye brushes in my collection, more so than any other brush that I own. I freaking love blending brushes for the eyes. And I have my top favorites to share with you guys, and I feel like a lot of people especially clients that come into Sephora don't really know exactly how to blend. So I'll go over some tips and tricks with you on how to use the brushes properly. And this is pretty much how we do it on Pretty Makeup On. And if you wanna know my favorite eye blending brushes, then you know what to do, just keep watching. So, I love blending brushes, I really do. Whenever I find a new brand of blending brushes, I can't help but wanna buy it. And I feel that I'm very loyal to the brushes that I have and I really wanted to share with you why I love them and I hope you maybe get the chance to maybe find a brush that you might enjoy or maybe want to purchase. So the first one that I want to talk about is one that I've had for so many years now. This is the Sigma E 40 brush which looks like this and this is the perfect amount of fluff. This is the perfect size I feel. It has the perfect amount of roundness. It's not entirely too narrow. It's not too flimsy. It's not too uh, what's the word? It's not too dense either, but I just feel like just the way it fluffs and the way it applies shadow, any brand for that matter, I feel that it is it is just my baby. It really, really is. I literally have, I think I have three of these. <laughs> literally, that's how much I love this brush. I feel like every, like Sigma definitely knows what they're doing. This Sigma honestly was one of the first brands of brushes that I personally have fell in love with like way back when, back when they were even more affordable than what they are now, throwing no shade, I promise. But honestly, I feel that this brush is still 1000% worth it. Again, it's the E40 and this just fits so perfectly in that crease area. Um, I feel that this brush might be a little too big if your eyes are a little bit on the smaller side. So I'm going to go in to another brush that is a little bit better. But I just feel that no matter what eyeshadows you're using, it just makes for really easy application and I, I just can't say enough good things about this brush. I literally have no bad things to say about this brush. So Sigma E40, I love Sigma to the moon and back, honestly. I think their, their brushes are such high quality. Um, even like the sets, even their face brushes, I can't say anything bad about Sigma, honestly. Um, so Sigma, the E uh, tapered blending brush is definitely my number one absolute favorite must-have. Other favorite, actually, is a brush that sadly um, all the writing had uh, worn off because that's how much I use it and that's how much love it has gotten over the past couple of years. And it is the BH Cosmetics brush. Something about this brush, I literally bought it on a whim thinking, you know, maybe it wouldn't be that great, but oh my God, it is amazing. And it has a very, very similar shape to the Sigma one. This is the BH Cosmetics one, this is Sigma. But something about how this brush is a little bit more more round, a wider circumference of the brush itself, I just feel just blends everything out really, really, really nicely. And it is a little bit more on the stiffer side, which I find is a lot easier to blend out more transition types of colors, whether they're, um, you know, like a more creamier powder or like a powdery powder. But um, the BH Cosmetics brush I definitely think is an amazing 
alternative. Um, nice and affordable if maybe Sigma's too pricey for you. But um, I definitely think it's definitely worth it for the money. Really nice. I like the, the handle on this one. It's a little bit on the lighter side compared to the Sigma one as well. Like the BH has a little bit of a lightness to it. But um, and I love the hand. I love the ferrule. It's a nice like darker antique gold color. So BH Cosmetics is really, really good for brushes as well. Nice and affordable. Love them. Another brush that I definitely feel is worth it and the perfect size for any eye shape across the board, whether your eyes are really small, if you maybe don't have a crease, or really larger, I definitely think this brush is going to be um, a use to a lot of different eye shapes, honestly. The Morphe E28 brush is this guy right here. And I really love the shape of this brush. It's a little bit more tapered compared to the other two, but just the way it fits in that little area you can get really good precision in that crease personally if I'm doing a more detailed blown out type of eye I go in with my Sigma brush first as my transition color and then use this brush the E what is it 28 brush to darken up the crease a little bit more and I definitely think this is amazing I am not sponsored by Morphe whatsoever I guarantee you they probably don't even know who I am so I did buy all my Morphe brushes with my own money, putting it out there, because I know Morphe is crazy with sponsors and all that type of stuff, but whatever. Um, but I definitely think this is worth it. Really, really nice and soft. Again, it's not too dense, not too flimsy, perfect amount of fluff, and it's amazing. So I'm going to talk about these two guys together, because they're really, really similar. Um, these are almost kind of dupes for each other. This is the Sigma A25 brush and this is the MAC 217 brush. And again, the reason why I'm talking about them together because they are very, very similar. Now, they are a bit more tapered. It has more of a pinched ferrule compared to the roundness of the other guys that I've talked about. But nevertheless, though, the amount of fluff that these brushes have is a really nice area for, again, really good detailed work. I do recommend when you're using brushes like these, I recommend kind of going, um, you know, straight on. I see so many girls, they go straight and then you have that big harsh line on your eye and like that's not really cute looking you want your shadows to look as blown out and as seamless as possible so I recommend with these types of brushes going in straight back and forth and then some circle motions a little bit as well if you try that let me know and I guarantee that you'll see your um, skill set kind of improve little by little instead of going just straight like this back and forth. So that's just a little tip for you. Um, but again, the Sigma E25 brush, mine is um, all clean, which very rarely happens. Um, but again, it has a pinched ferrule, nice amount of fluffiness. It has a nice amount of denseness. It's not too... Um, too hard. This is a goat haired brush as well. So I think it performs just as good as the MAC 217 brush. Um, mine for some reason doesn't clean as good as it used to, but I still love it. And I think that they are definitely, um, two really fantastic brushes. And then the last brush that I have is actually another goat haired brush. This is the Sigma E35 brush, which looks like this. I don't know why the hairs after a while, cleaning it for so many years, the hairs just kind of go bloop. But whatever, it still works just as well. It's kind of a little, it's like the baby cousin compared to the E40. Like you see how it's a little, little, little smaller. Nothing crazy though. It still works just as well in that area. I sometimes like when my, when these guys are dirty, I'll use this, but I definitely think they perform just as good as all the other ones. Um, the E35 is definitely a fantastic all around, a nice fluffy brush. I feel like it's a little bit less dense compared to the E40, but regardless, I definitely think they're worth it. So that is all I have for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any blending brush suggestions that you think that I should check out. And I hope we maybe learned a little bit of something about brushes um, because there really is a science behind brushes. 
I feel like some brushes definitely look nice when you go to like look at them, but the brush I feel, the way that it performs, I feel is most important no matter what. And that's the way I feel about these brushes. So that is pretty much all I have for today's video. I really hope you get the chance to subscribe to my channel. Hope you found this video um, hopefully a little bit on the informative side. And I think that's all I have for today's video. And I shall see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.